intrigued by technology, AI, and VR. I don't think VR is quite there yet, but I think it's really, really getting close. Whether that's 18 months or five or six years, I don't know, but it's not 10 or 20 years. Right. I believe it's going to be a game changer in where employees are domiciled and work from, how they're trained, how they're educated. Uh, what do you think, marrying your experiences in tech and the iconic people that you know, and in the world of single family offices? Well, those two, it's hard to say VR and single family offices, although I see that and see that as being a big, big future. How do you think that's going to interplay? Yeah. I don't know how, but it will, and it will happen faster than we expect. I just, um, you know, um, my father worked in at the IBM labs when I was a kid, and he would always predict things that were coming. And even when I was a little child, he would say, we, we're going to have self-driving cars, and we're going to have programmable homes. And we didn't even have cell phones then. We, we didn't even have laptop computers at that time. And it's all come true in my in known in short order and so i am just a believer of this is happening it's coming and we you know people resist self-driving cars why planes are practically flown on autopilot except for the landing why are we resisting this is coming so we should embrace it and we should figure out how to integrate it into our business places for younger employees that we hit upon multiple times in our discussion uh is an sfo really a career track yeah, that's a great question. It's, it seems to me that it's, even when I started, I didn't think I would stay doing it. I got referred by tech people to help other tech people. And I thought it was just, I really didn't even understand what it was, but it's growing. And so I think it, it probably is a career track now because there are so many and there are so many that, that need expertise. And so if once you've done one and done it well, you probably have a lot of doors that would open because it's very niche. Um, so I would say yes, but it's still evolving and it's not, it's definitely not a clear career path, but I think it's evolving to something that will be. Going back a little bit to leadership people and effectively culture, a name I mentioned earlier, the iconic Ray Dalio founder mm -hmm. of Bridgewater, incredibly successful. Yep. You believer in, uh, no group think to debating ideas to whether I'm the CEO or you're not, you're not, you're not, but you have an idea that could be valuable to us reaching the goal. I'm not going to have the ego that's going to step in the way that only a C-level executive or only I could think about it. Actually, I would like for me to be challenged and maybe not even that respectfully. If you disagree, I want you to stand up, speak, and if I'm not listening, maybe raise your voice a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I rarely find those principles applied. And actually, you would think in a single family office, which is a small entity without layers of bureaucracy or management, it should be that way. Right. I mean, are people too sensitive? Is that not encouraged? It, that subject we could dive into for too long. Well, I agree, course. but it's fascinating. And I think it's number two. It's just not encouraged. And Ray Dalio is encouraging it. And if the person, if the principals or the head person encouraged it, I think it would happen. But they have to be a very confident and secure person to invite that. And, and it's not the norm. I think it's fabulous. It's another way of getting people engaged. Talk about high engagement. If you really feel like you can, your voice is going to be heard, you're going to be engaged. <laughs> that's for sure so it's i think it's great to think about but it's not going to happen without very few people will stand up and pound the table without being told it's okay probably a hundred times <laughs> <laughs> what would be one thing that pops to mind to bring a little bit of a silicon valley startup mindset to the single family office community uh, more technology solutions, uh, more flexibility and fluidity. A lot of things you've touched on, actually, just, you know, bringing younger people in diversity. Um, you and I, I've told you about one family office that built their own solution. They couldn't find one and they started building it. And now they've spun it out to its own company. I mean, it's, it's, it's incredible. And they tailored it to exactly what they needed and wanted for that family office. Um, there are so many tools at our disposal now to be used. Uh, and to be more entrepreneurial, you know, just in general, to have people feel more empowered and, and feel like they can bring solutions and ideas forward. That is more Silicon Valley.